tired soul of hearing people say, let things take their course, tomorrow is another day. I do not need my freedom when I'm dead. I cannot live on tomorrow's bread. Good afternoon. Welcome back to another episode of Youth Against Corruption, Bible Zona Center for Public Integrity. I am your host, Sibakamaya Pesa. And today, once again, we'll be talking about democracy, giving an analysis because I was sitting down the other day and I thought to myself, is, is democracy really possible in the state that we are in as a country and other countries that, that are using the system to, to govern their people? Is it really possible? Is it is it necessary? Are we fully applying democracy as a system? Are we doing what we are supposed to be doing? And are the people that are leading us really democratic? And if we are not taking the system as it is and applying it as it is, then then what is going to happen? Where where are we going? Should we really be saying that we are democratic? What should we do? That was a question that I was asking myself. And I went through some information on the internet, some quotes, some some poems, some writings, some analysis on democracy. And I'm divided. I'm divided. I'm one person who believes that for me to be able to fully understand something, I need to look at both sides. I look at the advantages and disadvantages of democracy and I try to analyze it and come to a conclusion. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to conclude which is why I'm sharing the information that I have with you guys. And I'll be starting off um, with a poem, a poem titled Democracy by Langston Hughes. It reads, Democracy will not come today, this year, nor ever through compromise and fear. I have as much right as the other fellow has to stand on my two feet and own the land. I tire so of hearing people say, let things take their course, tomorrow is another day. I do not need my freedom when I'm dead. I cannot live on tomorrow's bread. Freedom is a strong seed planted in a great need. I live here too. I want freedom just as you. And when you look at this poem by Langston Hughes, it's, it's like he's addressing the leaders in democratic states. Democracy, when, when Christians created democracy, when he started democracy, he had a very beautiful vision of the system. He wanted equality, transparency. He wanted people to take part in being governed. He wanted to be governance where people have a say. That was the, the initial vision he had when he started democracy. But when we look at how we are being governed today, not only in Botswana, in other countries in Africa and the world as a whole, democracy is not being done the way Christians envisioned it. It's not being done how, how it's supposed to be done. So then why, why is nobody doing anything about Is it beyond repair? Or do we need more unity? Do we need to come together and really speak up for us to try and fix and repair democracy? Because personally, I believe democracy is a beautiful system. If we use it as it is, it can work. It can, it can have so much good than bad. But we, we, there's a quote that I saw. The quote says, democracy is when the people keep a government in check. It's by Aung San Suu Kyi. I can't really pronounce the name, but yeah. Democracy is when the people keep a government in check. Is that what we are doing? Are we really keeping our governments in check? Are we actively participating in seeing what is going on, what our leaders are doing, what is being done by our governors? Do, do we know? Are we fully aware? Do we read? Do we seek information? Are we fully active? Are we really keeping our government in check? That is the question that I'm asking myself. Because if we are not really keeping our government in check, then we are failing the system. We are failing democracy. We are contributing to the many reasons why democracy is becoming a little impossible, according to me, right? And um, another quote says, by will, Will Rogers, he says, 
democracy never lasts long it soon wastes exhausts and murders itself there never was a democracy yet that did not commit suicide and the the quote really got me thinking like what was this man thinking when when he said this he said every democracy has committed suicide and and democracy doesn't last long it it murders itself it exhausts itself why why would he say that democracy requires every party involved to be honest to be transparent to be fully taken pet on the side of the leader we need people who are honest who are fully dedicated and determined to be helping the people, who are fully determined to be bringing developments, who are good. We need, we need values and principled people to be leaders in a democratic system. But it's, it seems rather impossible to find just about the right individual to, to, to be exactly perfect to fit as a leader in a democratic state so then where are we going with democracy and what can we do what can be done that is the question that still remains on my side and i hope you ask yourself the same question and wonder but okay where are we going because it seems impossible to have one perfect individual to truthfully lead honestly and have nothing but good intentions for the people for their state all right um another quote that i saw reads men's capacity for justice makes democracy possible but men's inclination to injustice makes democracy necessary this whole quote shows us that we need to uphold some very high standards of values and principles for democracy to be possible it is seen as this this weapon that that stops every bad thing from happening in a state we don't want dishonesty we don't want people who are not truthful we don't want any sort of injustice to anyone so democracy is this shield that will help us stop all these things but is it it's supposed to be it's necessary because it's supposed to be a shield to stop any any form of injustice in a state but is it is democracy really that to us to the state that are using the system of democracy is it that is the question that remains because when Clisten started democracy which he 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 named democracy at the time he started democracy because there was there was some sort of injustice that was happening there were clan leaders who were who were causing chaos and tyranny um where we found leaders being people from same families same group of people same related people so he wanted to stop that he wanted to give power to the people to be like you know what you choose your leaders you choose people you trust to lead you people who will be helpful to you let not let leadership not be a family thing that benefits only a certain group of people so he had a beautiful vision but we we have lost the the real intention of democracy and i i i am worried i'm worried i'm at a point where i'm like is it beyond repair what can i do as an individual and my will my effort really ever be enough or is this going to be a drop in the ocean useless i believe it, it can only be possible to make a change and really call for a change if we come together if we are all fully dedicated to learning passing on the information researching and calling out people who are doing all these injustices to to democracy i i i'm i'm shattered i'm shattered a bit because i i look at a lot of information about democracy and governance and all those things and it's it's shocking the, the opinions and views that people have on the system when you really think about it it gets more and more interesting like oh it's like this but but what are we gonna do you know it, it becomes so my curiosity builds up every single day and i want every young person to have the same curiosity and interest 
on the system. So I'm inviting everyone to use their arts, their capabilities, to pass out any information that they have on democracy, be it a poem, drama, dance, writing, speaking. I'm inviting anyone who wants to join me to really come through and let's 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 discuss these issues tell me what you think i'll tell you what i think and we can we can come together and start a thing a whole thing i want it to be big but Zona center for public integrity is a beautiful organization that we all need to be a part of this kind of organizations need to be a necessity they are the pillars that need to be strengthened to to help democracy be fulfilled fully as it is as beautiful as it is so join us we are calling every young person everyone every citizen of botswana who is concerned about democracy mm -hmm. and wants it to be fulfilled to come through and join us and let's let's discuss these issues and and see if we can come up with a way forward thank you so much for watching my name is Valma this is botswana center for public integrity don't forget to like the page follow it share this video with your friends mention them to watch it let's share it and see what other people think of democracy